there's this story in the Bible where uh, there's a student named Lazarus, and <clears throat> basically, Lazarus has this uh this like basically a spot where you know like you see uh, hobos these days asking for change and things of that nature. And this this rich dude had to come out of his house every day, and basically step over this guy Lazarus. And Lazarus saw he's like, please, sir, do you have any scraps of food? Uh, I need some water. And the rich man always just ignored him uh, and tried to, uh, you know, hurry away from this Lazarus guy. And uh, it's like we all have these types of situations in our life where there's a Lazarus just laying, laying in a gutter right outside your door and everyone's too... Well, they'll be like, that's Lazarus' own fault. He's there. He deserves what he gets. Uh, I got some advice, Lazarus. Why don't you go uh, down to the temp service? Hey, Lazarus. I know I see what bad shape you're in, but McDonald's is hiring. It's like, look. Lazarus didn't need you to tell him that. You know what I'm saying? That's your excuse to not to help Lazarus is... Uh, Pretend concern, feigning concern by giving whack advice. You know what I'm saying? It's like no one needs to tell, you don't need to tell no one that. I got this story, man, where this dude basically was begging this other guy. He was like, hey, man, just let me get five bucks, please. And the dude was like, he had a great answer for him. He came back with a pair of work boots and he said, go down to that day labor. Next day, they woke up, this guy swinging from the rafters with the strings from those boots that uh, the other guy loaned him so he could go work at McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I didn't ask you for boots. You know what I'm saying? Just like uh, Lazarus, that'd be like, listen, it's just like Jesus when he says, oh, a man will ask you for some bread and you'll give him a stone. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they used to do this to people in Sodom and Gomorrah and let them starve to death. It was... This is one of the reasons it was judged because there was no, it's one of the reasons it was so wicked. It wasn't just sexual immorality, but through selfish sexual practices, you will become selfish with everything else, with your materials. If that makes any freaking sense. But, you know, it's just like, uh, same thing here, man. It's like, uh, when someone tries to, uh, redirect, it's like, you're being honest and then they try to redirect it and be like, I know what your problem is. This is what your problem is here. It's like, here's a tip. It's like you almost, it's like their, their advice that will get you nowhere. is almost like now you owe them for their advice. You know what I'm saying? When it's like, I didn't ask you for advice. You know, I didn't actually, what you did is just made light of my problems and you didn't even, you just ignored me basically in a way. It's like uh, you actually intensified the that feeling when you're drowning, when you're struggling, when you're down in a in a dump, basically. And uh, you know what I'm saying? People are unsympathetic to it, you know. And that's what happens sometimes. Uh, you'll the person that uh gave them boots to will be swinging from the rafters with the freaking strings from the boots. It's a real story. It's not. It's not even. If, that's not even a joke. A, another dude did something similar to that to me. He was like, "Chris, please get a hold of me tonight." He ended up killing himself that night before I could get a hold of him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not to say that. Look, it's not what I'm saying here. I'm just using it as an example. And that man who had to step over Lazarus every day. Actually, when he died and he was judged, Lazarus was all good. And he had abundance, but this other dude was put in the position of Lazarus, which was a diseased man and uh, poor. No one cared for him. Uh, you know what I'm saying? No one uh, really. I bet you many people had advice for him, though. You know what I'm saying? But there wasn't one who could actually step in and help the man. Instead, they'd help themselves by trying to ignore him because it hurts to actually when you actually look at something like that and you feel the pity. And the sympathy and the empathy. You know what I'm saying? It takes more energy actually to live the lie than it does just to look at it and, and face it. And not have no shitty advice for the person. Just look, 
If the man asks for a drink of water, walk a mile to go get it from the free well and bring it back to the man. You know what I'm saying? That's uh, instead of here, here's here, here, Lazarus, here's some boots. It says, I see your feet. You don't have no shoes. That's why you can't get no water. Here, here's some boots. 